viewers this is just fake network tv a home of accurate news and current news for those who subscribe I want to say a big thank you to every one of you and if you're here to do so please kindly press the subscription button below and now the news in details lai muhammad nigerians in chinese town hit by coronavirus unwilling to return home lai muhammad minister of information says the federal government is in touch with 16 nigerians living in wuhan china Coronavirus disease broke out in that part of the Asian country and it has continued to spread globally. Speaking in Abuja on Friday, the minister said the 16 citizens have not shown interest in returning to Nigeria. Lai added that the federal government cannot stop Nigerians from traveling to China. The federal government had issued a travel advisory asking citizens to reconsider traveling to China. We know it is a big difficult to ban people from traveling, Lai said. Another thing is that this is not a basis for stigmatized people who come from there. Even if we have Nigerians who are there, unless they indicate interest that they want to come home, we can't force them. I know we have Nigerians in Wuhan and our embassy in China has confirmed that we have about 16 Nigerians in Wuhan and they are in, to in touch with them. They have, however, not indicated their interest to come home. They will, however, contact our embassy if they like to come home. We need a lot of public enlightenment. We need to let people who travel know that there is the need for absolute transparency and absolute honesty. When they have filling out forms. The World Health Organization declared a global emergency on coronavirus and the death toll has risen to 213 with more than 9,709 9, cases confirmed in mainland China. Cases of the disease have been confirmed in Australia, Cambodia, Canada, France, Germany, Japan, Malaysia, Nepal, Singapore, South Korea, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Thailand, U.S., and Vietnam. The United Kingdom confirmed its first two cases on Friday. Wow. This is a very serious disease. Trust me. Because it's, this thing is killing a lot of people now. At least, as of now, we have like 213 people that are dead already. So, I feel that uh, the people living, the Nigerian people living, in Chinese town should be able to try because of their life at least they should leave the place for now even if they are scared of coming back home I know that by the time as a person you think about oh if you're going back home like Nigeria does it really make sense for me to go back to Nigeria but at the same time our life is so important to us our lives is very very important to us as we can see that this particular disease is a very strong disease and it is gradually gradually is killing people it's killing people and now that was was it not last yesterday that they said that oh uh, they detected three or oh, they also detected three in u.s and now uk is saying they are home too which means to tell you that this coronavirus disease is a very deadly disease and they uh, and for 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 nigerians that are there at least we have like 16 Nigerians living in Wuhan, China. So my advice for those people is just for them to come back home because of their life. Their life should be more precious to them than any other thing entirely. I know people will tell them that they should not come back home because of the kidnap, because of the X-Men and all that. But trust me, it's a, this is we are talking about a deadly disease here. You're talking about it so i will advise them to come back home so guys what do you think what is your whole take about this can you drop your comments in the comment section below for those who subscribe 
want to say a big thank you to everyone of you we say god bless you for subscribing and thank you very much